When I did this one here, I simply cloned out the plants. Now, watch out for gradients. Well, you'll notice that we have light on this side, dark on this side. If I tried to clone from here onto that branch, is that gonna work very well? It's not, is it? We wanna make sure we go with the gradient. So let's clone out this leaf, clone out the outlet, whatever you need to do to get rid of this gap down here. I simply did a liquefy. If you've got something that's fairly close to the edge and maybe there's a really complex pattern in it and you don't want to clone it out, Sometimes a liquefy. Watch this. I can just push that right out of the frame. So that can save you a little bit of cloning there. You're going to get rid of this board in the background and you're probably going to think, oh man, that's going to take a whole lot of clothing to get rid of the board until you realize that you have something over here that looks startlingly similar to what should be over there. Now guys, be careful with the plant leaf. Take a look at this for a second. When you're cloning, you want to make sure you're cloning from an area of similar brightness. And the gradient in this case is kind of coming down this way. So above the leaf, there's not a lot of area that's the same brightness as what's behind the leaf. So you might have trouble getting something from here, but if you came from below, once you got rid of this, the gradient, because it comes this direction, there's a lot of stuff down here that you can clone up to get rid of the leaf. Guys, if you take a look on the screen for a second, when I did that flip of the wall there, I gave it a layer mask, which completely hid it, and then I went in with a paintbrush, and I went around the outside, just like in first semester when we cut out the, uh, changed the color of that flower around that girl's neck. We went around the outside, and I end up with something like this. This whole background needs to be white to reveal that wall. Now, if I took the magic wand, remember the girl with the flower around the neck? Took the magic wand, we clicked on the background, except, uh-oh, it's getting both inside and outside. Why is that? Big gaping hole over here. When I click this black, it just bleeds right through. So I need to close off this backside here. Now, it doesn't matter where I go along the edge over here because the only place I need to worry about cutting it out is on this side. So if I just take this end and connect it right up to the top, watch this. As long as it goes out the top of the image, it'll close off this whole side here. So when I take the magic wand and click, it selects this background part. Now here's a tricky bit. It was a fairly hard edge around the side of his face there, but then it became a softer edge up around the hair, so I actually used a softer brush. Now how much of an expansion do I need to do? Remember there's that fringe around the outside here. The selection grabbed the black, it missed these gray bits. The most expansion I can do is, in this case, probably two pixels into about there, which means it's not going to be enough for this. But that's okay. It's a layer mask, so we can always change it afterwards. So I'm going to take this selection. I'm going to expand it outward, say two pixels, hit OK, and it jumps out into the middle of this little beige bit, this little white bit here. And I choose Edit, Fill for Contents, White, because in this case I want to reveal that background, and then I deselect. And anywhere I see this fringe, take a fairly hard brush, and I can just paint that out with white. And guys, here's another little trick. Take a look at this. Because the expansion that I did on the left side over here was so small, we're getting this little dark fringe all the way around. Instead of being really careful going around the sides here so I don't accidentally chew away some of that, watch this. If I take that magic wand again, and I click inside the black area, I can expand this outwards and then invert it. Right now I've got the inside selected. If I do a select, modify, expand, jump that out. Let's try two pixels again. Yep. Now if I invert it, select, inverse, I've gone around this little fringe area. I have the background selected. Now I can take the paintbrush and I can get rid of that fringe without worrying about accidentally painting out some of this. I can go back and forth as much as I want. On the very top of the head there, there's the fringe and now it's gone. So I don't have to be very careful because that mask or that selection is protecting it.